Well, I'm in Townsville beside the Ross River Dam. Now, it was only going on about a couple of months ago, they had the floods through Townsville, inundated the township and destroyed businesses and people's homes. The dam was at capacity, so they had to release the water over the spillway. The amount of water that went over that spillway would have actually watered the Murray Darling irrigators for one year. We all know that the governments have never kept up with the amount of water that we need for this country for an ever-growing population. They keep bringing more and more people into, the, into Australia, but have they provided the water services? No, they haven't. And that's why a lot of the farmers cannot put in their crops because they don't have the water to actually, um, for their crops, to water them. What we need to do is build the Bradfield scheme. What I'm saying is the hybrid Bradfield scheme, which will bring water over the range through central Queensland, hook into the Murray Darling, give them the water they need and the Mindy Lakes, and then flow it through to South Australia. This is a project we can not just leave idle. It was first introduced in the 1930s, but governments have no vision, no future for this country. If we can spend $60 billion on the MBN that has not worked, or it's, it's not working, or it's gonna be outdated very soon, or spend over $4 billion to foreign aid, worrying about other countries, why on earth aren't we spending approximately about $15 billion to build this project? It will create jobs, works, it will actually give water to Queenslanders and flow on to New South Wales and all the states that need water. It's a no-brainer. I don't know why the governments are not doing it. My promise is to you, to the people, is that I will keep pushing for this to happen. We need it and we need it now and we need to start building it now.